Hey everybody! Welcome to the first actual episode of Learning Sundays. A lot of people wanted me to call it Sunday School, but I feel like that already has its place in life. <laughs> so I'm just going with Learning Sundays. So I asked you guys on Twitter what you wanted to learn about today. You chose sex education. I should have known that. I thought you guys were gonna pick the hiccup one, but that was a close second. So that will be next week. This week is sex education. I did this to myself. You guys ready to learn together? Let's do this. So everyone has been taught the basics. Well, hopefully. Most people either have a P or a V. Some people are born with both. Those are called hermaphrodites. It's not a big deal, but everyone has a butt. That's just science. Everybody has a butt. You have a butt, I have a butt. Everyone's got a butt. It's where we poop out of. Some people like to stick things in their butt. That's okay, but don't ever let anyone stick anything in your butt if you don't want them to. Everyone's been told safe sex. That is like the number one thing that is always taught. Safe sex. If you are participating in a sexual activity with someone that you are not familiar with and don't know if they have a clean bill of health or not, best to use a condom or dental dam. If you don't know what dental dam is, dental dam is for when you are performing oral on a woman. It's like a condom rubber sheet. So you can perform the oral without getting any of her juices in your mouth. When you are performing oral on a man, a condom does the same thing. Condoms prevent pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases. Good, glad they do that. Men complain that it decreases the sexual pleasure on their penis, doesn't feel as good, but you know what doesn't feel good? A disease or a baby jumping on your face after you got to go pregnant. So best to wear the condom. Now these are all very normal things. Sex ed, everyone knows it. The anatomy, safety. Great, we've covered it. I've covered the basis of sex ed. But what they don't really ever talk about is the clit. Women have a clit. When you rub this, it feels good. Some people have a problem finding it. It's located above the hole. So you have the clit, the pee hole, the vagina, then the butthole. Yes, us women have a lot of things happening in the vagina region. It's okay to take a look down there, everybody. Get a mirror. If you can bend that way, see what's, just get under, the, see what's going down. There are also things called lips. They're the things that it's like, it's like the outside and then the lips and then the holes and all the buttons inside the lips. Some women have really short lips. Some women have really long lips. Also something I feel like is never discussed. Women are constantly leaking out of their vaginas. It's called discharge and it's normal. Every woman has a different amount of discharge that comes out of it. Now, if this discharge ever turns a little white and chunky and kind of like cottage cheese, you have a yeast infection. This happens to a lot of women. And once you get one, it's more common to get another, which is why you should have good hygiene, constantly clean. If you are pleasuring yourself or having someone else pleasure you, make sure your hands have been washed, their hands have been washed, everything should be washed. This prevents yeast infections. Also, inside the vagina is the G-spot. Men have G-spots in their buttholes. So, that's a thing. I don't know what else I'm covering. I'm just like going through every sexual question I might have had in my life. Ah, uh, yes. The different types of sexual activities. Well, you have the P and the V, which is just sex. I think everyone in the world just thinks that of sex. There's anal, where the P goes in the B. This is how gay men have sex, and sometimes how heterosexual couples have sex. It's just a way of having sex. Different hole. Uh, there is oral, which is mouth, private area. Then there's hand stuff, which is a hand job, which is just hand on penis. And then there's fingering, which is fingers on clit and in vagina. Oh, men have balls. They're there, they exist. They're attached at the base of the penis. It's like this sack thing. And then there's like these balls in it. Some men have big balls, some men have smaller balls. Some men like them played with, some don't. Women have boobs. People like to touch these boobs sometimes. I don't understand it, they're just lumps, but okay. And then women have periods. Well, most women, some don't. Periods make it so you can have a baby. That's all they're there for. Just once a month, blood just comes out of your vagina for like a week or so, usually less than a week. But once a month this happens, it brings along cramping and bloating and it sucks. You either use a tampon or a pad. You can have sex while you're on your period. It just depends on if you're, you or your partner are comfortable with that. It's not bad for you. You can still get pregnant because semen can live inside of your vagina for up to a week. So you could have your period and have sex and then the sperm would just be like, and flow, get out. And then when you get out, I'm gonna fertilize that egg. So don't think that just because on your period, you can have unsafe sex from pregnancy. Oh, and I read, it's true, but I have 
never heard a case of this. You can get pregnant without the P entering the V because apparently if he splurges near your hole, it can somehow get in the hole? This seems like a tricky little sperm. I don't know how this jizz is doing this. By the way, there are multiple terms for everything in the sexual world because people don't like saying penis, vagina, orgasm, clit, uh, sperm, discharge, menstruation. These are all words people don't really like. But anyway, apparently if he jizzes near your hole, it can get in it and that can fertilize you. So if you're using the pullout method, which is, which is when you're not using a condom and you are having sex and right before he splurges, he pulls out, apparently that can get you pregnant as well because he doesn't know exactly when his sperm is coming out. Uh, I read a statistic that one in five women get pregnant when they use the rhythm method, AKA the pullout method. Oh, important fact, condoms expire. So make sure they're not expired or else it's pointless. Oh, masturbation, normal? That's it. Apparently it's good for your health, which I read. I don't know, it's a thing. I mean, don't let your parents catch it cause that's awkward. Some people, I should talk about this. Some people like it hairy, some people like it bald. It's a personal preference what you like. So if you wanna shave it, wax it, pluck it, laser hair removal it, electrolysis it off, you can. Some guys keep a trimmed bush, some let it fully grow, some shave it off. Women, same thing. Some women shave their patch, their hair into a shape. It's all about preference, what you like. In the butthole region, there is hair. You can get rid of that too. You can keep or get rid of the hair in which you like. It's like the hair on top of your head. You do what you want with it. Pubic hair is thicker and curlier than the hair on the rest of your body, unless you have thick curly hair all over your body. I don't know you, but just know that it exists down there. On all people, it exists on all of the people. Eh, I'm sure there are people without. So most of the people have the hair. There you go. Ow! Penises, those are weird, right? Most of my viewers are girls. Most of you are under the age of like 20. Maybe you haven't dealt with a penis yet. So remember, give you the lowdown on what a penis does. Penis, comes in all shapes and sizes. Well, one shape, it's, it's a stick. But all sizes, thin, thick, long, and short. Those, there's four sizes. There's four different things they could be. Anyway, there's circumcised and uncircumcised. Uncircumcised, that means when they're soft, they curl up into a little cocoon. And then when they're hard and excited, they come out of their cocoon. Circumcised means they've cut that flap of skin off when they were a baby. Well, they didn't do it, a doctor did. So it's just, it's just, oh, there's no cocoon. When a boy is born, his penis is in a cocoon thing. And they, for some reason back in the day, they started cutting that thing off. When they cut it off, it decreases sensitivity to the tip of the penis, but it's easier to maintain a clean penis. Now, penises can either be a grower or a shower. A grower means that when they're soft, they're tiny. Nose. And then when they get hard, they're like, what's up? And then they're in your face and they're just massive hard stick. A shower is they're always the same size. It's just, it's soft or it's hard. So a grower is like, mur, 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 and a shower is like, mur, 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 so that's what that is. You never know what you're gonna deal with until you deal with it. Stuff comes out of it when they orgasm or when they don't orgasm. There's pre-cum and then there's cum. Pre-cum is just like when you're doing things little and it's just like, it just little comes out. It's not, there's not sperm in there. Nothing that will fertilize an egg is in this little, just this little juice that comes out. And then every time they orgasm and they cum, and that stuff has the sperms in it. Oh, also when they come, it either can shoot far or it just oozes out. They can do either or. Women can be squirters too, just so you know. But when a woman squirts, it doesn't mean that she's having an orgasm. It just means to squirt, <laughs> she's squirting. Some women do, some women don't. You can't learn to, it just happens. Everyone's different. But when a man gets excited, his penis gets hard. That is just a fact no one can deny. Not excited like, oh, I get to eat cake. Well, sometimes, I mean, if I had a penis, I'd get erected if I got some cake. But when they get sexually aroused, their penis gets erect. That's what happens. Also, women's lips can get puffier and their clit starts like throbbing. When they're excited, that happens. The, the vagina can feel like it's throbbing or you have to pee. Oh, the taint. Let's talk about the taint. That's part of the penis area. The man is the head, the shaft, the base, which is where it connects, the balls, the taint. The taint is this thing that is just a patch of skin in between the balls and the butthole. Some men like that licked or touched, some don't. That's how the male form goes. We've talked about the female form. It goes clit, which is rubbed for pleasure. Pee hole, which the pee comes out of. Vagina, which is where the baby the discharge and blood comes out of. And tampon, penis, the finger, other things go up. Then 
there's the butthole, where the poop comes out and some other things might go up, depending on what you like. That's all of that. That's all the knowledge I have for that. This is just part one of sexual education. If you guys have questions or need me to elaborate on things, that can be a part two video. I can narrow into things, whatever you'd like. You just let me know. What are your questions? It's okay to have questions. That's another thing before I end this video. I want you guys to know it's okay to have questions. You're just one human. Sex requires another, unless it's masturbation. Then it's just you. Then you figure yourself out. Sex requires another person, another human being. You might have questions on how to deal with that human being. That's normal. You pop out of the womb and be like, hey, I know how to do things. You have to learn. So ask any question you want. If you don't ask me, you can ask a friend. You can ask the internet. Google's got everything, but be careful what you search. Google images can be a very in your face thing. That's it for this video. I hope I've taught you something. If I haven't, that means you've already learned it, which is cool. I love you guys. Please tell me on Twitter other things you want to learn. It doesn't have to be about sex. This was just one video, Learning Sundays. It just, Twitter wanted me to start this series off with a bang. All right, I love you guys. Subscribe to see videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. But remember guys, above all else, stay awesome, possums.